Hello Rebel Nation, I'm your Athletics Director Ross Bjork. As you know, it's Fresno State Game Week and I'm here in the Manning Room to communicate the three most important things about Football Weekend. I want to thank our fans that filled Vaught Hemingway Stadium on a very hot Saturday. We also received plenty of fan feedback, which is the first of the three things for this week. Our job is to serve you, our followers, and active listening is just smart business. We have set up many ways to hear from you. The most effective way for immediate action is our feedback form at oldmissfb.com slash feedback. Or you can collect your thoughts throughout the year and use our end of the season survey. After the UT Martin game, we had over 200 submissions and each item is logged, carefully reviewed, and distributed to the right part of the university for the proper follow-up. I also got a few tweets and emails asking for us to control the weather. We strive for the best game day experience, but the weather is really above my head. Thank you for taking the time to give us your details of the experience, and we hope you will continue to do so. The second of the three things is related to the number one feedback topic from last weekend, pregame traffic near the Grove. There are several parts of campus that are under construction, including the Student Union Project that has closed Student Union Drive. This construction affects Grove Loop, and while we would like to give vehicles access to Grove Loop, pedestrian safety is paramount. For this reason, Grove Loop will close to all vehicle traffic no later than 11.30 a.m. this Saturday. Please plan accordingly and be patient with our traffic officers. Don't forget we host volleyball and soccer matches on campus this weekend and both teams are off to a great start. We are grateful for your incredible passion as Rebel fans and thank you for your continued support of Ole Miss Athletics. Be early, be loud, and let's lock the Vaught this Saturday.